You want to make sure you watch the previous training video on SlideMaster because this is an extension of it. So if you want this to make sense, you want to watch the previous training video. In this one, we're going to learn how to add background graphics to a SlideMaster. I say a SlideMaster because, as you recall in the previous training video on SlideMaster, you have two different types. You have the SlideMaster that when you update that, it updates all the slides and the different types of layouts within your presentation. If you want to focus on a specific type of layout, you can go ahead and go to its master for that type of layout and make changes to that. Because, as you recall, when you click on New Slide, you have all the different types of layouts. So you have the big head honcho master that when you update him, affects everybody else and propagates to all these different types of layouts. But if you just want to be able to affect, like, say, change the background for the title slide layout, you go to the slide master view and go to the master of this guy right here, title slide, and make the changes there. So, come with me, good neighbor, because you're probably asking, well, in the previous training video, I tried to update the background. Well, yes, but that was with in regards to a theme, and a theme applies to all the slides. It's not just to one, so I'm trying to separate that and say, look, we can't get away from updating everything when using the themes to change in the background, but you can if you want to use the background feature and not use themes at all. Let me show you. Let's come down here on the status bar, and you see where it says normal? Again, previous training video. Hold down the shift key, the normal text disappears, and then click on it, and we're in the slide master view. Scroll up to the top, and remember, when you come up here and you want to apply a theme, or even any elements that make up a theme, like the colors, fonts, and effects, when you click on it, and you've got a specific type of layout, the master of that layout, the title slide layout. You see that? It's popped up and it says it's being used by slide one. That when you come over here and you hover over it, you get a preview of it. And when you click on it, it's not going to go with the selected submaster layout, that title slide layout. It updates everybody. And that can be frustrating. So here I want to show you that hey, if you just want to apply it to one type of layout, the background, and not have to add another, well, second slide master, as we talked about in the previous training video. So we can have one type of theme for all those slides for slide master one, and another type of theme for the second slide master and all its subs. So no. This way, if you're okay with not using themes, because what choice do you have if you want to be able to focus just on one type of layout here, the master of that layout, then come with me, good neighbor. Well, let me hit undo. And let's go ahead and come up here. And the secret is the background, formatting the background. Now, there's three ways that I want to show you to be able to access the background and to change it. One way is to come up here in the background group, click on background styles, and, well, let's see, when you hover over it, that's style 2 and that's style 6. I mean, if you like those, great. Just go ahead and click on it, and it only updates the background of the selected submaster the master of the title slide layout, not the title and content layout, or not the master, which would affect all the others. So you can do it that way, but then, come on, that's very mono here with the type of things that we can do, because you got additional options. You can come down here and click on Format Background. Opens up the Format Background task pane. You can do it that way, or in the Background group, click on its expandable dialog box button, opens up the same task pane, or close out. If you find a blank area, right click on it, and then go down to Format Background, opens up the same window. So you get all these different options. And by the way, if you applied something to your submaster, like as we just did, and you're like, I want to go back to the way it was, well, over here in the task pane, come down below and reset the background, and it goes back to, well, looking like everybody else, to what it was originally before we made the change. So over here, you can choose your solid fill. That, again, only applies to your selected submaster for this title slide layout. And if you're like, hey, that's pretty cool, I want to update it to all the others, well, you can go ahead and click Apply to All, and then you can see it updates all the others. And I'm like, mm, nah. Let's go ahead and undo that and just keep it tied to this one. And you can also do Gradient, Picture. Ooh, let's see, Picture and come down here and you can insert a picture from a file on your computer or network or online. Let's do it from on my computer. Let's see what we got. Let's go to the pictures, sample pictures. Oh, that one's a lighthouse. That could be pretty cool because, you know, lighthouses can be haunted. Let's go back and see if I got anything else like an HP or, well, let me double click on that one. Yeah, it looks kind of spooky. Maybe we got a rocky beach or part of the uh, shore that's haunted. 
and somebody caught something there in any case. If you like the background, well, you may have to update the text and the ghosts, or better yet, you may have to update the text if it doesn't pop out because it's too dark. What you can do, though, that may look cool, is over here you can mess with it, like the transparency. Click and drag that to make it more transparent. All right, so far that's looking pretty good. Well, except for the subtitle here, that's white text against a bleached background or washed out. doesn't bold it out, so we can select it. Let's click on it and make it black. Click off. Okay, that seems to work. Great, and then all we have to do, because this one is currently applied, as you can see when I hover over, the title slide layout here is used by slide one. So come down here, click on normal. There you go. There's slide one, not slide two, not slide three. So there's a way to get around that as long as you're okay with not using themes because it updates everything. Well, since I already had it in purple here, what I did in the slide master of the title slide layout will only affect new slides, so I have to come back in here and there we go, make the text black. Okay, that pops. Great. And then finally, what is it going to look like when I print this off? Well, let's go ahead and hold down the control key and hit the letter P to go backstage control P and it's not there. Well, of course it's not because I'm in grayscale, at least for me here, because I have a black and white printer, so the default here is grayscale, but when I click on it, if I change it to color, there we go, and it's still a black and white printer, but that's okay. At least I'm now able to print it off and include it, albeit in black and white. If I can go ahead and get a color printer, well, that would look even fancier. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.